Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. This is the beginning of the 29th year of New Hampshire's Business, and I can't think of a more relevant way to market than these words on a poster that you're about to see. New Hampshire Ukraine Relief Fund. Ukraine needs us. New Hampshire is ready. With me to describe this relief fund and the critical needs that are being collected are the three leaders. Uh, Sean O'Kane, advisor to the Global Citizen Circle and the former commissioner of the New Hampshire Department of Resources and Economic Development in New Hampshire. David Tilley, director of Veteran Services, Harbor Care in Nashua and former New England administrator of HUD. And Patrick Tufts, president and CEO of Granite United Way, uh, the agency through which this New Hampshire Ukraine fund is being managed. Welcome. Morning. Morning. John, Morning Fred. Fred. what's this fund all about and, and what's being collected? Well, Fred, we've, we've put together, since your last program, uh, a remarkable list of partners uh, who, who just are going to make this work so nicely for us. I particularly want to acknowledge Mayor Joyce Craig for all the help she's given us. But as you see in the graphic, we have a very specific list of medical supplies we're collecting from hospitals, companies, individuals. Uh, these are items that our Ukrainian friends on the ground have specified as being critical. And additionally, we've also listed specific non-medical items, uh, but we stress these items must be new where applicable. Uh, old items we will not be able to send over. There are other groups who can do that if they're particularly of interest, uh, even used clothing, uh, such as the ODA Auto Precision uh, in Auburn group. Uh, they've done a remarkable job in putting things together. But our list, as you see, is a very specific one, and we want to hold to that. Now, Patrick, donations to this fund uh, are being managed by your Granted United Way. And uh, fill us in on how the viewers can help, uh, either by donating to the fund or donating items on the list that uh, Sean just described. Easiest way to donate, Fred, is to go to our website at graniteuw.org, where you can make a financial contribution or you can get information on the drop-off sites. We've also made it very easy. People can text to give by going to NH4Ukraine 241444. That's the text to give information. People can support this drive financially, or as Sean said, they can support it by donating the supplies on the list. Right, right. And David, you have significant individuals that you know in Poland uh, and Ukraine. Uh, who are ready to receive what we collect and uh, get it into Ukraine. Yes, and, and as you know, Poland's a key site for humanitarian aid, but also refugee support. And we're very fortunate to partner with former president and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Lech Walesa for all logistical support through Poland. And we also are working real time with partners in Ukraine that are members of parliament and aid workers that are helping uh, right on site every day on identifying those needs that that are that Ukrainians need. Yeah. Well, it is a note about contributing supplies uh, that we just talked about. Um, if you want to help by contributing some items on the list that Sean uh, showed us, uh, they suggest dropping them off at any of the common man restaurants in New Hampshire, thanks to owner Alex Ray. Or if you have supplies on a pallet or in big boxes, you can bring them to the rear loading dock of five uh, at the north end of 540 Commercial Street in Manchester, which is where DECA is located. Uh, and thanks to Dean Kamen at DECA for that. So my thanks to Sean O'Kane, advisor to Global Citizen Circle, and uh, David Tilley, Director of Veteran Services at Harvard Care, and Patrick Tufts, President and CEO of Granite United Way. And if you want to uh, look at any of this information again and contribute, go to WMUR.com where it will be posted later today and all this week.